the question says we are given nine balls out of which eight are of equal weight eight are of equal weight and one is heavier than others a very very important and very commonly asked person now using a two sided weighing pan in weighing pan we just compare the things equality or heavier lighter what is the minimum number of times we need to use the balance to find out the heavier ball so how to do it now let's quickly check out nine balls are given we make groups of three balls each first group second group and third group we make balls three balls in one group three balls in second group three balls in third group let's call it a b and c we compare any two groups put one group to one side of the balance and put other group to the other side of the balance let's say a this side three balls this side and three balls this side if this goes down what it means if this is the case what it means is a contains heavier ball as we know all are eight are of equal weight only one is heavier than the others so if we put one to this side or we do a this side and any two we can compare if it becomes equal means heavier is neither in a nor in b it means c contains the heavier ball and obviously not to say if it becomes a this side this goes down what it means is b contains the heavier ball simply what we did we were given nine balls we made three groups it's always three groups that's what we try to do we made three groups so nine balls three groups each so we got three balls in each group group 1 group 2 and group 3 let's say group a group b group c we take any two groups we take any two groups it can be a b a c b c anything we put let's say a group this side b group this side if this is the case a contains heavier ball if this is the case none of them contains the heavier ball c contains the heavier ball this is the case b contains as eight balls are of equal weight we have used up till now balance once and we come to know which group contains the heavier ball what we did simply we had three groups group a group b group c three balls three balls and three balls any two we compare let's say we come to know this contains heavier ball what we'll be doing now again divide the three in three parts one 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 if this is the case this is the heavier ball not to say if they become equal let's say this is e f and g if they are equal simply let's say we compare this if e is equal to f or first thing we saw if this is the case if e is greater than f obviously e is heavier as only one ball is heavier if both are equal obviously g is heavier and if this becomes the case f is heavier so simply what we did any simply nine balls given we make groups of three balls each any two we compare any two we compare we need come to know we come to know which group contains heavier ball which group contains heavier ball so now let's say if this is the case we try it again three parts and if this is the case this is heavier or equal or what all may be the case so we need to use the balance two times will be required to use the balance two times once here 
for the bigger groups and once here for this group. Total two times will be required to use. Now, if means nine balls we need to use tubes. If twenty-seven balls are given and one is heavier than others. Simply what we do, groups of 9 balls, 9 balls, 9 balls. So what all we get here is, we compare group A with group B. Now we know the practice. If they become equal, this group contains. Otherwise we know what all may happen. Now if this is the case, this group contains heavier. Let's say we do this. If this happens, this contains heavier. One comparison, 1, 1, 1. If this happens, this is there. So we have used once the balance here first time, we have used the balance here second time and this is the third time. So if 27 balls are there and one is heavier than the others, total we will need the balance three times. Total balance will be needed three times. Same way if 81 balls are given, now we know very well. 27, 27, 27. Let's say this group, enough every time we are taking this group, say this comes up. Any one group will come to know. Now, again 9, 9, 9. Let's say this group contains heavier, 3, 3, 3. And let's say this heavier, 1, 1, 1. So, if 81 balls are there, we will need 4 times. We will be required to use the balance 4 times. So what we have studied here is if 3 square number of balls, number of times we need to use, we need to use the balance. If 9 balls are there, that is 3 square, we need to use the balance 2 times. If 27 balls are there, 3q we need to use the balance three times very important thing give you a hundred percent here 81 3 raised to 4 balls four times 243 3 raised to 5 balls five times so if it's 3 raised to n balls we will need n times to sort out which ball contains which ball is the heavier one 3 raised to n balls we will need times. See, if the number of balls are 3 raised to n, we need to use it n times. But the problem is, what if, if it's not a power of 3, like 13 balls and one ball is heavier than the others, than others. How do we solve it? 13 is not divisible by 3. But nearest multiple of 3 is 12, so we can do it as 4, 4 and 5. If 15 balls are there, we make 3 equal groups, 5, 5 and 5. If it's not possible to make equal, make 2 nearest equals, 4, 4 and 5. So total we got 13 balls, 2 equal and 1 unequal. What all we do is, 13 balls, let's check it here. Group of 4 this side, 4 this side and 5. We cannot compare and 4 and 5, we will not get the answer properly. Now we compare 4 and 4, if they are equal, this contains heavier, otherwise this we all know. Now let's say they are equal, so this contains the heavier one. One time you have used the balance, first time. Now, again 5 is not divisible by 3, but we make 2 nearest equal and 1 equal. Now, if they happen equal, this is the heavier ball. This is the luck part. This is the luck part. But if this comes out, then we don't know. Then we know out of these two, any one is heavier ball. So again, we need it one and one. So now we will come to the answer. So this was first time. This was second time. And this is the third time. So what we get? First time, second time and the third time. 
So answer in all will be needing is three times. So we get the answer in total three times. Simply what we did. We were given 13 balls. We made two equal nearest and this. We compare the two equal groups. Anything may happen. Anything. But let's say if this happens, if this happens, then this contains the heavier ball, this group. We make two equal and one unequal. We compare these two. If this happens, then this is the heavier ball. Only in two times we get. But instead of that, if this happens, so then we'll need total three times. So we need surely to find out answer will be three times. Now, if let's say number of balls given are 52. So what do we do is 52 is not divisible by three, but we know 51 plus one that is 17, 17 and 8. Two nearest equal. Let's say we compare them. If this becomes what all we know is this contains the heavier one. Okay, now if this goes that way, we'll know this thing. Any one way, it's not going to affect any ways. 17 divided by 3, 6, 6, and 5. So we make 6, 6, and 5. Let's say this happens. 2, 2, 2. Let's say this happens. Final 1 and 1. So we have got first time. We have got second time. We have got here is third time and in all four times. So total four times will be needed. So one more example, let's say if 100 balls are given, what we know is if 100 balls are given, nearest multiple is 33, 3 is 99. So what we do is 33, 33 and 34. Let's say this happens, it's multiple of 11, 11, 11, 11. Let's say we compare any two and we come to know this. 3, 3 is a 9, 4, 3 is a 12, so 4, 4, 3. Let's say this happens. 2, 1 and 1. Now what all we get here is. Let's say if they become equal, may or may not, but if they become equal, so what will be required to do is one more time. So it was first, second, third, fourth and fifth. So if 100 balls are there, five times will be required to use. So simply what all we have got now. If it's three square nine balls, we need to use it two times. If it's 3 cube, 27 balls, we need to use it 3 times. If it's 3 raised to 4, 81 balls, we need to use 4 times. If it's 3 raised to 5, 243 balls, 5 times. But if it's not power, means if it's anything is between 9 and 27, like 10 balls, 15 balls, 20 balls, 26 balls, in any case, answer will be 3. In any of these cases, answer will be 3. So if it's power of 3, for 3 raised to n balls, we need n times. But if it's not power of 3, if the number of balls is not power of 3, not power of 3, simply we need to take the next power. So means simply, if the number of balls is anything after 27, after 27 till 81, we will need 4 times. Means 50 balls, 70 balls, 80 balls, in all these cases, it will be 4 times. In any of these cases, we had seen, answer will be 3 times. So 100 balls or 150 balls or 200 balls, answer will be 5 times. What is given now? Let's say question is, if 9 balls are there, 
and one ball one ball is heavier or lighter than the others up till now we knew if specific heavy is given specific light is given what is to be done now same we make three groups three three if they become equal we know this contains the faulty ball if they become equal we know this is the faulty ball in two times but this was sure luck that we got it means we got these equal these equal so we knew still we don't know is it fault heavier or light this is the luck part not the right answer we should always be able to get now what if if this happens we don't know then how to do it let's check it check it nine balls we make groupings of three balls each we make groupings of three balls each now if this becomes when we know one ball is heavier than the others this contains faulty when we know one ball is lighter than the others this is faulty but now it's given one ball is heavier slash lighter than the others so even this may contain faulty group even this may contain so how to do it let's say group a group b we need to know that faulty ball is it heavy or light so what do we do is we compare if b becomes equal to c means a contains faulty ball a contains faulty ball and the faulty ball is heavier than others now if this happens a is greater than b and b is less than c means b is less than a b is less than c two groups will have equal weight only one will have different so in that case it means b contains faulty ball and it's light or even if now if this happens or even if we would have tried in the same case a is greater than b and we try a with c let's say we compare a with c if they become equal means b contains the faulty ball and it's lighter and we compare if this has happened and we compare a and c and a becomes means here it means a is equal to c a is greater than b means b contains but if this happens a is greater than c we have got a greater than b we have got a greater than c means a contains faulty ball and is heavy simply we'll need one more comparison to find out which contains what means even if we get this thing we need to know even if we have got this thing we need to know that is the faulty ball heavier or lighter for that we need one more comparison so simply let's check it so if we have three groups a b c three balls three balls and three balls so what all we do is if we get this is greater than this and let's say they become equal simply it means this contains faulty ball and is heavier so total will be needing is three times one time extra just to find out this was one time this was second time and this is the third time so what all we get here is three times if nine balls are there and one ball is specifically not given it's one ball is heavier slash lighter then we will be needing is three times so what we have seen up till now is we have got three square balls nine balls we need two times three cube 27 balls we need three times 81 balls we will need four times three raised to five 243 balls we will need five times n times this is specifically specific case one is heavier or one is lighter anything in between that after 9 10 13 20 answer will be three times upper power of 3 30 80 it will be four times 100 200 it will be five times we have already seen that but now if it's given one ball 
is heavier slash lighter then in all these cases we will be doing plus 1 for finding is it heavier or is it light if specific given heavy or specific is given light if 9 balls 3 square balls 2 times 3 cube balls anything from 9 to 27 3 times anything this 4 times anything this 5 times and plus 1 if is given slash light 